Hello everybody! I just wanted to make a quick video and um, show you guys this really awesome way that I uh, found to um, keep the dreads up without having a wrap in your hair. Um, basically, and I have really short dreads. Like my dreads shrunk big time, so they're like to here right now. Um, and there's a couple of different ways that you can do it, I'm sure. Um, a lot of uh, people will grab two dreads from down on the bottom part, like below their ears, right at that line, two dreads, and then wrap them around um, like that and pull, you know, so you have something like that. Um, but because where my wraps are, I have one here, and that's above the ear, and then I have um, I have my long dread that I like to put in there, and then I have this other wrap that I like to put in there. So basically what I do with them is I'll take this one here, and normally I actually have a wrap around this one, but I take it out every once in a while when I go in the shower because it gets really wet, it's hemp, so it just like soaks up super a lot of water. So um, just grab those and kind of tuck those away. Grab this one, make sure that those are all behind. So then I've got these. <laughs> so then um, I always go, like whichever one I'm going to fold in, I always put it on the outer part, like the outer, instead of going in the inner part. You put it on the outer. The reason I'm doing it with this one is because this is a really long dread, and so if I flip it around like this, I'm taking these two, and I'm putting it underneath here, and underneath here again like this. Okay. And just reinforce it a little bit. Because basically, the more you wrap around like this, they're not going to go anywhere. Um, one thing to remember, though, is that if you tie them and then tie them again, it's like, it's, don't do it that way. Just, just keep spiraling it around. So that's one way you can do it, but this is what I, um, and this is how I normally wear them. But then I thought um, that I wanted to get them off my neck, and because it gets hot here in Southern California. So what I decided to do was grab some of them and put them under. Some of them. And that's basically it, just, you know, um, and then any of these loose ones that you feel anywhere or if any of them poke out the back right here, you just try and kind of push it into the other dreads that are secured in there. Like these, I'll just go, because like if I take the whole thing and I try and put it in there, it'll pop right out. So um, I'll just go individually, find one that's pretty secure in there, and then tuck it right underneath it, and that seems to help. Um, So anyway, I just wanted to show you that, and um, you can do that with long dreads, I'm sure, and short dreads even, so um, 
definitely have shorter dreads than most. I've been looking at uh, videos lately on YouTube that I hadn't looked at before, and I just noticed that there's some people that have super long dreads, but eventually uh, my dreads will get that way. And the people that I was looking at, you know, they're only like one month into their dreadlock journey, and they're looking pretty, pretty good. I was, I was impressed, but um, they are also using like crochet hooks and stuff like that. I think the dreadlock journey, you know, it has to do with patience and time. You know, you don't want to force it because that's not really the, the point of it. It's not, it's not the concept. So, anyway, um, I hope everybody's doing alright, and I hope everybody has a good week. If you have any questions, let me know, um, and I would be happy to answer anything for you. So, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.